hello guys welcome to survey solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to use a um, global mapper to perform query you know in gs a query is a request for information from a database to retrieve what um, some information from a database um, using or fulfilling um, some specific criteria so we have um, a database of some points of interest here we have about 9886 features right good now we can easily open the attribute table by clicking on edit attributes in vector layer now we can see the attribute table here and then we can see the number of rows right good now what we want to do in this um, exercise is that we are going to look at this um, field this f class field you can see that there are different features under this field right good so we are going to see how we can query this database to retrieve some of this word field right good so we are going to double click so that we can just have everything on the same page now on a global mapper the tool for query is called search or you can use what search to what to query so you can actually assess it from the attributes table or you can use what the search icon here right good so let's use search here now there's a tip which you can actually read up let's click on ok good now we have what search vector data now the feature types can be areas lines points slider meshes right good then um, the layers are what the specific layers which perhaps we have selected now we have the attributes field we have this plus sign which shows that we want to insert attributes name to query this operator shows what the inserting of the operator into the query right good now this also includes what the values that are inside or that are under each of these attributes so before we continue let's just drag this down here remember i said we are going to look at what this um, f class field and then we are going to look at some of the features that are under this field right good so now let's see let's um clear this then let's come under f class now f class has been added under the query right now we want to say f class that is equal to now let's load all the values that are under f class these are all the unique values that are under what the same f class field right good now let's say s class that is equal to schools let's start with schools so we just um, scroll up a bit this is schools right good we double click now we want to query from our database the fields or let's say the values rather under the field f class that are what that are schools right good so now let's validate our query that we have actually built you can see that the query is valid which possibly means that it will run right good so now let's click on search so if we come up to our attributes table we are going to see that what schools have been selected so if we scroll up down we are only going to see schools right good now when we see schools and then we try to see other fields that are um created alongside okay let's maximize this so that we can have better context so maybe names can also be provided at some point okay think um, the names field is not okay the names field is populated at some point right good so we have what the british um, international school legals by primary school and rest of that so you can now see that we have selected all the fields that are what um under the f class we have selected the values that are what that are schools right good so how do we get back to our original um, attribute table show all features right good and you can rightly see that from the um, query builder the query that we've written has been removed right good let's see how we can select uh, more than one values from our f class right let's clear this query so let's start by saying f class equal to we are using schools right or f class equal to okay so let's say banks right we can rightly validate query is valid 
and then we can search for it right now this particular query should be able to return the values under the f class that are what that are schools and that are banks right let's maximize this so we have um, schools here good i've seen bank we have bank here and then maybe if we keep scrolling we are going to see schools sorry we are going to see more banks right good so by rightly looking at it we can see that there are more schools than there are banks right good so some of the schools here have been given names and then some of the banks have also been given names right good so with this um query you can also determine um which of the banks are more right so we have um, access banks and then you know this is asha or familiar then you can also see what the different schools right good so this is like um, an introduction an introduction to how you can use them um, let's um show all the features again which means we have actually cleared uh, what our query right good so we can just clear it that way so basically we've shown you how to what um query we've shown you how to query single value and multiple values right good now um you can actually play around this um search vector data to see the different operators and how they work and then you can also maybe check the functions maybe if you're trying to do some mathematical um operations and perhaps reading the description here would help you remember we used we decided to use f class you can use any other attributes that um you believe have um, some unique um, values that um, you want to query right good so you can also join or maybe create multiple queries now you can save your query okay so let's say f class equal to banks right the query is valid so you can actually click on save so let's call this um bank um, query right good so you can click on ok it has been saved so when you come to load saved query you are going to see it somewhere around there so you can actually leave it this way and then maybe whenever you come you can work on it so you can actually export it so that you can share it with someone or maybe you can import um, the query that was um, shared with you and then maybe use it um, on global mapper to in the query manager for what whatever analysis um, you want to carry out so we can delete this because um, we don't actually need it and then we cancel that so yeah thanks for coming to class we open we have shown you how to use a um, global mapper to carry out query or maybe to perform a um, query which is um, a special um, analysis in what in chairs right good so if you have any question contribution comments you can actually reach out to us and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible so until we see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye